understand the space, not necessarily me. Uh, and then the areas that I would focus on are one, off, online to offline, O2O, I think we call it clicks to bricks here. Um, but generally, this is an immense, biggest, in China scale, right? So inside of China, how are they taking digital assets or digital functions or digital behaviors and creating value in the offline world, right? So WeChat is the most obvious example, um, getting something delivered in 30 minutes, like all of those manifestations, that's an enormous business, but it's gonna be extremely crowded and clouded by the fact that the Chinese ecosystem, culture, number of people, cost, all of that stuff are factors that you wouldn't be able to control and you wouldn't be able to, to create in a petri dish here in the US, right? So it's gonna be a challenge for you to separate those two and figure out where the value is. The second, and this is an area that I'm directly um, tied to, is global D2C commerce. So Chinese products, you are wearing them, you have eaten them, you put them in your hair, they're you know, the milk powder that they export out of China and then re-import in so that kids can have good milk comes from China. Um, the, the elegant you know, shampoo that you bought probably comes from China. For years and years and years, China has been creating scale you know, products, basically figuring out how to create products at scale and push them out of the country, right? Massive export-import imbalance. Um, but what they've done in the process is figured out how to make products and then also figured out that brand is 40% of the cost, right? 